ask me, or better yet, some people say, man, all you do is talk about Jesus. But you know what? When I wasn't talking about Jesus, you know, it wasn't a problem. But, you know, when you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you actually, you know, God itself, when you actually, you know, be all in, when your yes is yes, you know, things start to change. You know, many people, you know, don't love Jesus like you do. Now, I'm not saying I love Jesus more than everybody else, but I can't talk about everybody else. So I can speak about me. But the thing is, you know, you go to a doctor, they probably know a lot about the body and, and operating. You go to a, a carpenter, probably know a lot about building some stuff. God called me to preach. <laughs> so, you know what? When you come around me, I'm probably going to talk about God a lot. And don't get me wrong. That don't mean I'm not supposed to be no earthly good. I'm not saying that. But the thing is, you know, light shining in darkness and darkness comprehends it not. Sometimes, you know, you got to understand who you are and you got to be who you are. The problem with some people is that they don't want to be who they are because peer pressure, uh, because they want people to be friends with them and, you know, all these different things, whatever, whatever it might be. It could be comparison. It could be, you know, insecurities, all these different things. But what good is the salt if it lost its savior? What I'm saying, if God called me to be who I am, then I must be who I am or else I'm no good to God for the purpose that he has for my life and the plan that he has for my life. I'm not here to be friends with everybody in the world. You can't be friends with everybody in the world if you wanted to. But at the same time, I'm here to love people with the love of Christ. But everybody's not going to like me. Everybody's not going to like the gospel that I preach. I preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I preach Christ crucified on the cross. I preach that Jesus Christ died for me. He died for you. He died for all of us, for our sins. He's the savior of the world. But we must accept him as our Lord and savior. I'm cleansed by the blood of Jesus. God is the father. Jesus is the son. And it's the Holy Spirit which Jesus sent. Which, which, he, which came when Jesus ascended Now I preach the gospel of Jesus Christ Which saves Now that's my stance And that ain't gonna change All the rest We can talk about anything We can talk about sports We can talk about a lot of things But at the end of the day I'm gonna be who God called me to be You know a fish Is not a fish If it's not in water When a, when a fish is out of water it can't operate. It can't even be itself. We have to understand that when you're who you are, you have to be in your element. God gave everybody a, a grace. God gave different people different gifts. But what good is your gift? What good are you to the world and to the plan of God if you're out of your element? You know, that's why the Bible says, stir up the gift that was put in you, you know. The, the gift that God gave me is not for me. It's to do his work. It's to advance the kingdom of God. It's to help uh, set people free. You know, it's to help people be delivered, to help people be healed, to help people come to Christ, you know, that they may have eternal life, you know, with the Father in heaven and not go to hell. But at the same time, I'm going to be who I'm going to be. So I would say that not to talk about me, but to say, who are you? Who did God create you to be? Who are you not showing the truth to? For one, if you're not being you, you're not being yourself to the person that's in the mirror when you look in the mirror. Two, you can't be who God called you to be, so you're never gonna truly be happy. It's gonna be a, a counterfeit joy, a joy that, that isn't real because God put some in you for you to be who he called you to be. And until that is fulfilled, you'll feel incomplete. And you will be incomplete and you'll leave this world not fulfilling the purpose or the plan that God made for your life before you was born. 
and before you was in the womb. So the thing is, be who God has called you to be. Don't be ashamed. I'm not saying that we don't have a human body and we don't gotta live in this world. So have wisdom, have maturity, but hear me. Hear me spiritually, hear my heart. What I'm saying, a lot of people have low self-esteem. A lot of people are out here trying to be people pleasers. A lot of people want to be like the Joneses. A lot of people want to think the grass is greener on the other side. But a lot of people are running from themselves. A lot of people are running from their destinies. A lot of people are running from God. A lot of people are running from the things that, that God has put in their lives to bless them. A lot of people are running from the same people that God has put strategically in their lives. Because they want something else. Because they want somebody else that like them. Because they want somebody that's going to be around them. That's going to tell them what they want to hear. That's going to um, um, not tell them what they need to hear. But also even do what they want them to do. You know, that, that's not going to challenge them. That's not going to um, love them with the love of Christ. That's not going to truly want the best for them. And, and that's too bad. Because eventually it's going to hurt the person. And, and eventually that person will find out one day that everything that they thought was okay everything that they thought you know nobody was seeing that God seen every last second of their life all the times when they ignored them all the times when they didn't do what they were supposed to do by him. All the times when they quenched the spirit. All the times when they 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 said no to him. They when they said no to his will. When they said no to the things of God. When they said no. When he said I sent that person. When they said no. When he said that was me speaking through that person. All those different times. When you go before God, He will bring them back to your remembrance. So I say that to say. There's no better day than today. A lot of people are waiting on a perfect time, waiting on a, 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 a perfect situation. There's never gonna be a perfect situation because the enemy don't want you to know who you are. But at the same time, that's why we walk by faith and not by sight. Because it's not about what I see. It's about who God is and it's about what he said. And it's about his word. So whoever you are, be you. Understand that you are uh, wonderfully made, like and fearfully made. God created you, and when He made you, He didn't make didn't make no mistake. You know, when He when He finished the world and making the earth and stuff, He said it is good. So when He finished creating you, He said it is good. God did His part. And do your part and be you because the world needs you to be you, not somebody else, not a copycat of somebody else. The world already got one of them. The world needs one of you because God strategically created you for his purpose. So be blessed.